storyteller, greatest stories ever told. Stories from the storyteller, new adventures will unfold. Stories from the storyteller, hidden treasures you will find. Stories from the storyteller, we're begging for it. What are you guys doing? We're counting the holes in the window screen. 2,100 and... Ugh, I lost my place. We're so bored. Well, how about a board game? <laughs> Get it? Board game? Ah, never mind. Can we go somewhere? Please, pretty please. Please, with whipped cream and a cherry on top. Okay. Yay! <laughs> Whoa, this is awesome. I think the mall would be more fun. Yeah, a lot more. This looks fun. Hey. What's Tyson doing out there? Wow! Hey, when did he learn to skateboard? Hey, I want to try that. Come on, let's get our helmet and pads on. This looks lame. Yeah, who wants to roll around on a piece of wood? Looks dangerous. Yes, it does. Look, there's Cam and Kyler. See that? <laughs> that was epic. I wish I recorded that on my phone. <laughs> hey guys, you okay? I'm okay. Yeah, I guess. Keep practicing, guys. Don't give up. Is that you? Paige, what are you guys doing here? Uh, skating, of course. Grab your boards, come join us. Come on, J2, let's hit those verts. Well, uh, J2 has an ankle injury, so I should probably sit with him. He can't even stand. Oh, my ankle. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. We'll see you out there. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to try. I don't want to miss out on the fun. Tyson 
makes it look easy. I mean, if he can do it, so can we, right? Hey, guys, you ready? Uh, yeah. Just getting used to these skateboards. I usually use the professional kind, you know, much faster. Have you guys skated before? Of course, I skate all, all the, the time. time. Okay, we're gonna drop in. Yep, see you soon, bro. Um, yeah, we can do this. Sure, we probably won't die. Probably. Okay, on three. One, two, three. We're doing it, we're actually skating. This is easy. Oh no, how do you stop these things? I don't know. Well, that didn't go well. You can say that again. Are you guys hurt? Just my pride. Well, I have to say, you had it coming. What? How do we deserve everyone laughing and pointing at us? Well, you guys have been sitting here laughing and pointing at everyone else. Oh yeah, we did do that, didn't we? Yep, and because of that, people are judging you even more harshly. It doesn't feel good, does it? Not at all. So instead of judging others, what should you guys have been doing? Encouraging them? Yeah. Sorry, Dad. Maybe there's something you guys can do to apologize to the kids you laughed at. You're thinking what I'm thinking? Let's do it. Hey guys, your mom and I are really proud of how you're encouraging people. Thanks, it's actually a lot more fun to encourage people than laugh at them. Yeah, this is really fun. Looks like your encouragement works great for Bunny. Go Bunny! Wow, she's a fast learner. You can say that again. Wow, she's a fast learner. Hello, guess what guys? It's story time. Well, guys, I have to say, today was a lot of fun. Watching you guys learn to skate was so cool. You didn't give up when you fell down, and more importantly, you didn't stop when others were judging you. I was reminded of a scripture in the Bible that talks about judging others. In Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 through 5, it says, Do not judge so that you will not be judged, for you will be treated as you treat others. The standard you use to judge is the standard by which you will be judged. 
And why worry about the speck in your friend's eye when you have a log in your own? How can you think of saying to your friend, let me get rid of the speck in your eye when you can't see past the log in your own eye? Hypocrite! First, get rid of the log in your own eye, then you will see well enough to deal with the speck in your friend's eye. How in the world do you get a log in your eye? Well, Cam, the Bible isn't talking about a real log. It's talking about being blinded by your own pride. Pride is when you think you're better than other people. And a clear sign that you think you're better than another person is when you judge them. So is the Bible saying to stop thinking you're better than people so you can help them with their problems? That's right, Kelsey. When we get rid of the sin and pride in our life, it opens our eyes to see clearly. And only then can we help others. But if we judge people about their sin and we have the same sin, then we're being a hypocrite. What's a hypocrite? It's like when I was laughing at you and Kyler for not knowing how to skate, but I didn't know how to skate either. I was lying about being better than you. I was being a hypocrite. It doesn't feel good to judge or to be judged. No, it doesn't feel good at all, does it? Let's remember that Jesus wants us to love instead of judge, encourage others instead of laughing at them. And if we do that, we share Jesus' love with others. And that is the best feeling of all. Hey, where's Bunny? What's up, guys? I'm Jonathan. And I'm Kanika. And we are so excited from our family to your family. Thank you for watching season one of Stories from the Storyteller. And we have a special new feature that we are so excited about. It is our Stories from the Storyteller app. You can download it in the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, and it is the place where you can go to watch all of season one episodes and the season two episodes when they drop. We're excited about this app. We want you to download it right now because here's a closed environment for your kids to be able to view these episodes without running into any other things like YouTube and things of that nature. And so you can have confidence. You'll get notifications each time a new episode comes out. You can also sign up for weekly devotional so that you can lead your family and Bible study. And in the app, you'll find our Stories from the Storyteller t-shirts. There are also capes and journals for your kids to take notes and journal their own stories. That's right. And you don't want to forget our Stories from the Storyteller book as well. All of this is in the app. So we want you to become a part of it. And finally, these episodes, we're able to do them because of you. That's right. It's your donations that come in that allow us to make these episodes for you and your family and this world. So we want you to also, in the app, become a part of our Storyteller Club. That's where you can give on a monthly basis or a continual basis that you decide so that we can continue to crowdfund, to get the donations because of your giving and continue to make these episodes to make an impact. So come on in, download the app, join the Storyteller Club, and be a part of everything that we're producing so that you can be impacted and other lives can be impacted as well. Let's go. Let's go.